Good morning, welcome to Morning Outlook. This is Kim speaking on Monday, the 25th of November. So, Black Friday starts. Uh, no, it starts for a lot of people. Black Friday started last week, but uh, it's actually started this week. Um, okay, so um, looking at Euro dollar first, and well, um, yeah, last week ended up with a sell off on Friday, quite a big sell off relative to its previous days there, quite a bullish. Uh, bullish bearish candle it continued from the bearish engulfing sort of candle it, it set up on Thursday where to today well I can see this rally the potential for the rally to uh, continue for a short while at least in towards its uh, weekly pivot here which is it's, it's around about 1043 um, it may break through that now it, it's really coming back to this daily picture a minute it's a case of well is it is it going to put a, a floor in here? Are we going to see more upside, or are we going to see a continuation of this sort of downside that had started and had, um, and continued last week? So, looking at it from an hourly point of view, it was just a daily pivots on here uh, and a weekly pivot. Um, potential here above, as I say, in terms of target wise, if it gets into that, it may become a shorting area, and I'll I'll look at that sort of zone as a potential shorting area. Um, and it may be you just look at the trend break um, once it does so. So there we are, there's the euro, um, the pound. Pound held up a lot better of late, but it uh, did sell off quite strongly again on Friday, Thursday, shooting star Friday, follow through on that, through the weekly pivot eventually. Um, wasn't the clearest of days. Um, today, well, we've got the new, uh, weekly pivot just above and again um, it may be worth looking at uh, what happens into these uh, um, into this number sorry I've got a bit of fib on there which uh, shouldn't be on there that's uh, for some, from something else let's clear that off if I can that's not going to let me clear it off. yes there we go um, so uh, just running up to its weekly pivot now again I'm sort of looking across these as sort of the lows and see if we get a break of these lows if it just pushes up towards that uh, uh, daily R1 fair enough but um, it's just looking to see with the lower highs lower lows through this whether we've got a fight another wave down due okay dolly yen dolly yen well we've seen uh, risk back uh, risk is back on and the dolly yen is pushing up uh, weakness with the yen there pushing through uh, again it's got a weekly pivot untouched below on this particular occasion as it would um, but uh, we just need to keep an eye on that but if it does start reversing that becomes a nice target but for now um, it's, uh, it's it's, it's sh shoving on away from that um, looking at the uh, 60 minute here you see the daily pivot weekly pivots are both decent targets if it starts breaking trend here um, they may come into play okay Aussie dollar but I do like the upside on the uh, yen by the way Aussie dollar has been struggling and more probably more than most for a while a little pitch up this morning looks like it almost had a gap there uh, probably did but um, it's already into a weekly pivot very small range last week it to me it looks like it's going to just continue in this um, just watching it here and it, it, again well just need to see if we get a breakdown got the daily pivot below which could be a draw for it um, so it's it's got the potential to continue in that downside I think it's still a bit uh, bit soft and um, well there we are okay and we have got we got the deputy governor speaking on the Aussie side later today Canadian dollar, Canadian dollar is really not doing too much here. It's, um, look, it had a more bullish day. Oh, I say it bullish dollar, bullish day for the US dollar on um, on Friday. There more softening, and the, the trend really on this daily basis to the upside at the moment. Uh, we do have the weekly pivot below, which may may become a draw for a short while at least. If the daily and the weeklies are hit, then really just looking for a continuation maybe to the upside. Um, that's Canadian dollar. I'm not looking to intraday intraday into intraday trade it. <sighs> Easy for me to say. Um, New Zealand dollar is <sighs> consolidated, but still in a, in a in a reasonable range. We do have news at 9:45. Call retail sales out later this evening, um, which uh, may have a little effect there, but uh, I don't expect major major moves. But uh, 
Um, it choppy all week last week. Not really too shocked on that. It's uh, there's a, a hawkish outlook uh, from the central bank. Maybe we've got some more upside. Um, it certainly looks fine, real overall. Pushed up through the Asian session here again, just taking out Friday's highs there. So looking half bullish. It's um, not quite caught the weekly pivot, but it wasn't that far away from it. Caught the dailies. That's all ticked off. So may maybe got the the, the, the for more upside okay and finally last bit of uh, data we've got German uh, IFO business climate data coming out at 9 this morning the traders uh, will be watching that quite carefully bearing in mind the softness that we've seen in the numbers in Europe and particularly in Germany so uh, they'll be watching that at 9 a.m. okay that is uh, pretty much it I wish you a great day I'll speak to you uh, later bye for now mm -hmm.